Hey friends, we are jumping right into the first part of my Savannah travel album. Uh, I already introduced you to the project and showed you a few things I was working on and one of them was this title page. So I am trimming down this 12 by 12 one canoe two papers from their Willow collection down to an eight and a half by 11 piece so that I could run it through my printer and print out Savannah, Georgia with the date of the trip, keeping it really, really nice and simple and letting that pattern paper shine through. And now I'm trimming it down to the full eight and a quarter. Um, it was just easier to have it be the full size of the pattern paper. Here I'm taking my punch template. If you've never made one, I highly recommend you do it. It is much simpler to use than page protectors. Punch the holes and now I'm getting ready to put my itinerary on the back. I decided to use that photo to print out the itinerary instead of the pattern paper and I didn't want to have to add a third thing in there. I just wanted it to be the title page, the itinerary that included this photo from the airport and just move right into the story. So whenever I have enlargements back to back, I use my Gina K tape. It's like just a double sided sticky tape. I use one eighth inch along the side with the hole. So I'm tearing that part off and then the quarter inch pieces. And as I was attaching it down, I was realizing that the painted dots from the other side of the pattern paper were showing through the photo in the sky area too much. So I peeled it back. I wasn't worried about the part where there was black in the photo. I'm just grabbing a piece of heavier white cardstock to tuck in between the two. And then I'm going to re-sticker everything back down, but I'm gonna do that off camera so you don't have to sit there through it. But I'm just kind of leaving it in to show you that I did it and that I'm just hand trimming everything and it'll get re-punched later on down the line but this was a way to create a barrier between the pattern paper and my photo so that those polka dots did not show through, which just would have bugged me to no end. So now I'm working on my photos that were representing basically day one, really, I guess I'll just call it part one. So I'm just adding them into this six by eight page protector. They're just really simple. And a photo of myself at the airport, a screenshot of my ticket, a shot from the hotel and the hotel room card. Okay, friends. So I'm decorating this first page here and I want to use this adventure card. I decided I'm going to kind of lean into this font here. This is from the 2022 travel collection. Um, I think it'll go well with the colors of my photo, the red of the card here, but I want to make a flip up so that I can do some longer journaling. So I printed out two of my three by fours here. They're gonna be side by side. And I'm gonna show you how to do a hidden, hidden flip so you can't see. Actually, I wanna see here how wide this actually needs to be. So I'll just hand trim that. <clears throat> I'm going to trim this first down to match and then I'll trim this next one to match. So I use thin copy paper. I'm going to cut a three inch by two inch piece of paper here. and half lengthwise. And all I'm really going to need for this is some rolling dot adhesive. Okay. So the way this is going to work, I'm going to unfold this for now. This is going to go on the outside. This is going to go on the inside. This will go on the inside. And then this will close. Sorry, like this. 
so that on the inside of the pocket, it looks like this, and my journaling is continuous. And on the back side, really, it'll be backwards, sorry. But you get the idea. It just needs to go the other way. Sometimes the hardest part is just figuring out what you need to do. So in that case, what I'm going to do is do with the inside first, since I know for sure what that will be. So I'm just gonna take my rolling adhesive. And I like to put it on the inside of the line, fold it around it. Okay, like that. I'm gonna do the same on the other side and I'm gonna actually, so I know that this needs to go like this, right? So I'm going to go like this. And bend it up over. The reason why I do it this way is so that I know it will fold as flat as possible. Okay. If I try to put it on there and line it up, you, you can see a little bit of white, but that's okay. If you try to make it too tight, it will actually gap weird and it will like bulge out strangely. So this will be on the back side. this is the side that's slipping out. Not sure how I got adhesive in there. I need to take a little bit of an eraser to it. Weird. And then the photo goes on this side. And it will never be perfect because I'm dealing with photos that I trimmed at different times and a, a card that was printed at a certain size, which is why you just trim from there. So I'm going to trim to the card first and then when the, the card is closed, then I will From the photo to match. Okay, so now you can see it's got that hidden hinge so that you can easily close it. And sometimes, like if I would actually try to push this all the way in, it's too shallow, this is gonna catch, so you sometimes have to pull it out a little bit more so that this will lay flat, and that's just the nature of it. I'll find some sort of tab that can go on either the bottom or the side, so I know that this is a pull-up, and then got my nice long journaling here. Um, I picked a color from the photo here so that it would match and now I just need to find some pattern paper or something to put behind there and we're good to go. Okay, so now that the flip up is complete, I am looking for some patterned paper cards in my stash. I have them organized in rainbow order there on the left hand side when they don't have any sentiments on them. That works well for me. So I picked out a few that were in this darker green color that I'm working with. Found uh, They're both by Kelly Perky and found this one with the white polka dots that I thought would help tie in the adventure card a little bit more. Used some of that Gina K Terrific tape to adhere the card down just because I don't trust rolling adhesive on plastic. It doesn't really seem to pull off and stick down. Um, have a little die cut left over from the, I believe the 2020 collection. It was like a patterned card with lots of little word sentiment strips. It says, yep, so darn excited. And just put that on the outside of the photo. For now, I'm not sure what I want to put on that photo of the city from the plain view. I'm just going to leave it for now. 
I finished re-punching that title page and then I also dug out these vellum tags from the 2022 travel collection from Allie Edwards. The hole for the um, for the ribbon was really tiny so I actually used my slot punch over top of it to create my own hole. And I'm going to pull out some May Arts ribbon that I will also leave a link for you as well. I have it in about five colors. Um, I originally went with the black and white and while it looked perfectly fine I thought you know I'm really trying to put in some more color and I had a little tiny scrap of this orange and white one so I decided to go with that route. I just wanted to see how it looked next to my page. So I pulled out my album and then I grabbed my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher there and got the ribbon threaded through and just as I was about to staple it I realized I had run out of staples. So I got that refilled and stapled on and then I'm going to use some more of my Gina K Terrific Tape to adhere that vellum tag on the photo just because it's outside of a page protector and wanted it to be really secure. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed getting started with the album with me. If you subscribe, you'll be automatically notified when I post new content and I can't wait to share more with you. Bye for now.